the rate that the infection is spreading, we need to work towards all solutions towards flattening the curve, and this is a major part of being able to do that. We've heard from health experts the concern of people who have coronavirus, but don't know because they're not experiencing significant symptoms. So who would be exposed if you were carrying the virus right now? Only on 41 Action News, reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us the technology to help narrow down that answer. Inside the Johnson County Health Department, it's all hands on deck to identify who might have been exposed to the coronavirus. So we have a positive lab case and we identify all the people around them. We can tell all those people stay home. For it's called contact tracing exposure. and requires individuals who have tested positive to remember people they have spent more than 10 minutes with within six feet of one another. The difficulty today is being able to remember everyone you saw seven days ago 12 days ago, 14 days ago, is it's virtually impossible. So Triple Blind is developing an app to track where you've been and who you've crossed paths with, should you test positive for the coronavirus. So moving really, really fast towards phase two, which is what will allow you to determine whether you have actually crossed paths with someone, and that determination would be done without without putting your personal privacy at risk. Right now, users can download the app, which will record your location every five minutes. Eventually, you'll be able to share that information only if you elect to, redacting personal information like where you live. It is on your phone. You know, literally in the palm of your hand is this storage of this personal data that we're collecting. The goal, protect privacy and help stop the spread, while also taking some of the burden off of health care providers. I have some concerns about how, what kind of contact we're talking about and who's getting alerted if it's an app-based, right. um, but I do think that people want to know if they could have been exposed. Right now, you can download the app on both Apple and Android devices. It is free. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.